We're here in Dubuque, Iowa, and we are at the world's shortest and steepest railroad, right behind me. And uh, we're gonna take it up, and we're gonna take it down. How long do you think the ride will be from start to finish? Make your guesses. We'll put a clock in the bottom. Here we go. Now that we got a couple minutes, I thought I would give you the story of how this railroad slash elevator came to be. In 1882, there was a Mr. J.K. Graves who was a promoter of mines and a banker. He lived on the top of these bluffs and worked at the bottom. And unfortunately, he had to spend half an hour driving his horse and buggy around the bluff to get to the top in another half an hour to return downtown, even though his bank was only two and a half blocks away. The original cable car, which was built for Mr. Graves' private use, had a plain wood building that housed a coal-fired steam engine boiler and winch. A wooden Swiss-style car was hauled up and down on two rails by a hemp rope. Mr. Graves' cable car operated for the first time on July 25th, 1882. After that, his gardener led him down in the morning, and then he brought him up at noon, and then down again after dinner, and up again at the end of the workday. And before long, neighbors became used him at the elevator asking for rides. He rebuilt the elevator after a fire in 1884, and he remembered how his neighbors showed up when he used the cable car and decided to open it to the public. He charged five cents a ride. The elevator burned again in 1893, and then 10 neighbors banded together and formed the Finalon Place Elevator Company. And from that point on, there were different people that operated it. There were also multiple fires that would happen throughout the time. And about 1977 is when they built it to resemble what it looks like today. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 